order to proceed, you need to establish control over the following key strategic points. Las Ventas, to ensure further advance, take over the Republican Supply Depot. Brunette, taking this important transport junction will allow you to possess a useful airfield close to Madrid. While in Madrid, capture the city's airport, the railroad station, and the main supply depot of the Republican Army. Faithful to Franco, the garrison of Toledo keeps control of the city with defiance. Rescue the city defenders before the Republicans destroy them. Icons next to a unit allow you to quickly get important information about it. If the selected unit does not move during the current turn, the canister icon will be green. If it moves, the icon will be grey. Similarly, the cartridge icon shows if the unit has made an attack during this move. The red color of icons indicates that either the fuel or ammo in that particular unit has been depleted. Your army is comprised of the core and auxiliary forces. You can distinguish between the two by the color of the figures denoting the strength of the unit. A core unit is indicated by green color. An auxiliary unit is indicated by yellow. The auxiliary forces are given for one mission only. The core forces will accompany you through the campaign, gaining strength in battles. You will be able to improve them and equip them with additional equipment. These units are the ones that should be primarily protected. Artillery is the basis of the firepower of the troops. It can pave the way for maneuvering forces or weaken the enemy's attack through artillery fire support. Due to the long firing range of artillery, it can inflict damage on enemy units beyond the limits of their firing range. Use artillery barrage before assaulting enemy fortified positions. Remember though, artillery is vulnerable to ground and aerial attacks, so it needs to be protected.
This is an enemy unit. If the intelligence level allows it, you can obtain comprehensive information about it by right-clicking on the mouse button. Bombers are flying artillery and clear the way for our tanks. They can provide emergency support for the ground forces wherever needed. Do not leave your bombers without protection. Remember, they are prime target for enemy fighter planes. Infantry solidifies the success achieved by the rest of the forces. Use infantry units to escort tanks, assault and defend cities, as well as for special missions in mountainous and wooded terrain. This is the only type of troop that can fire its weapons when it crosses rivers and that can be transported by air. Fighter planes are needed for gaining air superiority, as well as for protecting ground forces and bomber aircraft. Keep your fighter planes close to the units that you want to protect. Enemy aircraft will return fire as soon as they are attacked. Air weaponry also allows fighters to attack ground targets, although with low efficiency. This target is protected by enemy fire planes. Thank you. 
Panzerwaffe is the basis of the Wehrmacht. Tanks are ideal for an offensive on an open terrain. Our troops took control of Las Ventas. We got an important stronghold for the continuation of our offensive. Anti-aircraft artillery is a powerful and versatile weapon. Not only is it capable to shield your vulnerable facilities against air attacks, but it can also effectively combat ground targets. Large caliber anti-aircraft guns are also great for destroying tanks. Thank you. 